This Simple History episode is sponsored by Wix. Go to wix.com slash go slash simple history to create a website now. Leonardo da Vinci's Flying Machines Leonardo da Vinci's inventions covered a wide variety of fields, but the area in which he was arguably the most inspired was aviation. Although he was often constrained by the technological limitations of the 15th century and his designs were sometimes flawed, da Vinci's flying machines showed a scientific, creative, and forward-thinking mind that was far in advance of many of his contemporaries. The Ornithopter One of the most well-known of all da Vinci's inventions was his Ornithopter. Unlike the fixed-wing aircraft with which we are all familiar, the wings of an ornithopter flap up and down much like those of a flying animal. Da Vinci was not the first person to think of this form of flight. In fact, the earliest description of an ornithopter can be found in the Ramayana, which was written sometime between the 5th and 1st centuries BC. There were several attempted flights made well before da Vinci's time, although it seems unlikely that the highest achievement of these was a sustained glide rather than true flight. When looking for inspiration for his own device, da Vinci drew heavily from nature, basing the design on the flight of bats and birds. He is famously quoted as having said, Human subtlety will never devise an invention more beautiful, more simple, or more direct than does nature, because in her inventions, nothing is lacking, and nothing is superfluous. In da Vinci's ornithopter, the pilot would have been placed lying face down on a wooden board at the center of the device. The frame would have been made out of pine and raw silk, and the wings, which were to have been pointed like those of a bat and spanned 33 feet, would have been powered by a pedal crank and a rod and pulley system. The ability to steer was to be provided in the form of a headpiece, and a hand crank would be available in case the pilot needed a way to generate further power. Although there's no evidence that the device was ever built, let alone tested, during da Vinci's lifetime, it seems likely that he would have been aware of its single serious flaw. Although a sustained flight may be possible once in the air, no single human could possibly have the strength to generate the power necessary for takeoff. The Helical Air Screw Although the Chinese deserve the credit for first working out the concept of rotary flight, it's Leonardo da Vinci's helical air screw that is usually considered the first attempt at designing a fully operational helicopter. Although the basic principle remains the same, da Vinci's air screw bears little resemblance to what we would recognize as a helicopter today. The machine consisted of a circular central platform upon which its pilots would stand, a long shaft and a large screw-shaped canopy made of starched linen. The pilots would power the device by twisting cranks which would, in turn, rotate the shaft and, in theory, create lift. Although da Vinci's design was undoubtedly well ahead of its time and demonstrated a clear understanding of the physics that underpin how modern helicopters are able to gain elevation, the technology of the late 15th century had simply not evolved to the point where a fully functional machine could actually be constructed. Although there was no attempt to build one during da Vinci's life, modern reconstructions have shown that the machine was simply too heavy to ever take off. The Parachute Perhaps the most successful of all da Vinci's aviation-related inventions is his parachute. Da Vinci firmly believed that if a person used a large enough piece of linen, then they could safely jump from any height without risking serious injury upon landing. The end result of his pondering was a hastily drawn sketch in the margin of one of his many notebooks, depicting a person dangling from the center of a pyramid-shaped canopy. The linen was to be supported by a wooden frame made up of a 12 by 12 yard square at the base with four poles rising to a central point. As with his other flying machines, da Vinci's parachute remained entirely conceptual throughout its lifetime. My brilliant flying machines only stayed as ideas in a sketchbook. Don't let your website ideas just be ideas. Make your site become a reality with Wix. Go to wix.com slash go slash simple history to create a professional site regardless of your skill level. Wix has over 500 templates and will make your site responsive for mobile phones with solutions for e-commerce, music, hotels, events, and restaurants, which will make your dream website idea come true. Build your own website and support the Simple History channel by going to wix.com slash go slash simple history.
or simply click the link in the description below to get started.